Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you that how you uh, can activate your Stripe account and what are the reasons because of which your Stripe account activation get rejected. So I will be uh, uh, just giving you the explanation of few uh, steps that you may have to uh, follow while doing the activation. And you already know that in most of the cases when we try to activate our Stripe account, then after a few uh, minutes, we get an email that your Stripe account has been rejected because of uh, this reason and that reason. And at the end, you can never able to connect with the chat support of the Stripe account. And even you have the problem uh, with your uh, with your email address as well. For example, you are trying to connect with them through email. So at the end, you are not getting the proper reply from the Stripe support, proper guidance that what can be the reason uh, because of which so your Stripe account get, uh, get rejected. All right. So uh, let me tell you step by step that what are the things that you have to keep in mind while doing the activation. So the first thing is, for example, you have to create an account. So in the next video, actually, I will be uploading uh, the, all the steps practically. But over here, I will be uh, giving you the explanation of few uh, important aspects that you have to uh, cover while doing the activation. So the first thing is that uh, you have to create an account on Stripe and then after uh, you have to verify your email address and you need to add your bank account uh, and why bank account is required because uh, while getting the withdraw you have needed a uh, bank account that must be working bank account so that you get the withdrawal of the amount that has been collected into your into your Stripe account. Then after you have uh, maybe uh, in some cases, a lot of people think that they don't have the company registered so they can never able to activate the Stripe account. So this is not required. If you will uh, see on the Stripe account, you will find out that if you don't have any company, you are just able to uh, give the basic details that can be random detail uh, of your home address or maybe other address uh, that is suitable for you. And then after you can uh, proceed further. It is not compulsory that you have to give the uh, company address because uh, I will be showing you my Stripe account in the next video. In that, you will find out that there is, uh, I don't have mentioned any uh, type of company number and all. I have uh, given the company name, uh, which is not actually registered, but still my Stripe account has been activated. Next thing is that uh, how much time uh, Stripe has required to verify your uh, verify your details and then giving you the approval. Within one hour or maybe two hour, you will get, you will be getting the uh, uh, email that your uh, your Stripe account has been activated or not. So they don't take much time uh, for the approval request to uh, do the approval and verify the details. So you have no need to worry about the time uh, time period that they are taking long time because in PayPal support, if you will think about uh, them, you will find out that you will find out that there are in a lot of the in a lot of cases, uh, if you are trying to connect with uh, with PayPal support team, definitely uh, you will get to know that they are taking one day or maybe two days. Uh, to do the approval of your uh, PayPal account or maybe if you have submitted your uh, documents and they will be uh, they will be taking long time to do the approval. All right. So in Stripe, you have the chat support so you can immediately confirm that uh, how long your process will be continued and what is the issue in your Stripe account. So you have no need to worry about this specific thing from the Stripe. Then after you have needed a website, so for example, you have a website, so you have to mention the website uh, name. Uh, uh, there would be a form and in that form you have to mention the website name. So make sure that your website is uh, having the SSL certificate. SSL means uh, security. So you already know that, for example, in some cases we, uh, we see that HTTPS and maybe some websites having HTTP hypertext transfer protocol. So if there is S, that means your website is secure and uh, there would not be any problem. So you have no need to worry about this uh, SSL certificate because this is free of cost. 
you have to uh, go to the uh, cloudflare and there you have to register and you will be getting the ssl certificate for free and even cloudflare flare is also providing uh, the speed i mean optimization so your website speed would also be increased because the whole bunch of load is going to be handled by cloudflare and cloudflare is provided by google itself so uh, that service is really uh, good. So you have to register over there and you have to add the DNS servers over there so that you get the SSL for free. So your website must be secure. Then after you have to verify your domain. So how you will be verifying the domain? Uh, actually, uh, while registering the Stripe, I will be uh, giving you the practical example. And in that, they will be giving you some DNS records, domain name server records. You have to copy and then paste into your uh, hosting server. And in hosting, they have uh, already provided some dashboard where you can uh, copy and paste those records. And in that way, uh, Stripe will able to uh, able to verify your domain name that the website which you have mentioned on the Stripe form. So that is existing or not. So they will be confirming uh, that website uh, data uh, by uh, by doing by adding those uh, DNS records. All right. So make sure that uh, this specific thing must be updated onto your the uh, hosting server where you can act, uh, where where you can add the DNS records. Then after uh, one more thing, I am interested to tell you is that uh, from one single sign up of your Stripe account, you can create multiple Stripe accounts. So they they have the options that you can uh, create multiple uh, Stripe accounts. Even you have signed up with a single uh, single uh, name and email. All right. So you have the option. I will be telling you uh, in the next video. So you mean that, for example, you have uh, you have two websites and you are interested to uh, create two Stripe accounts. So from a single sign up, you will have the option in the dashboard on the left top corner. And there you can create multiple Stripe accounts. For example, you have two WordPress websites and maybe two other websites, and you are interested to activate two Stripe accounts. So you are free to uh, create uh, two or maybe multiple Stripe accounts over there. And then after the most important thing is that website policies. So I have mentioned the website in below in the description. That is uh, my personal website. Uh, free SEO tools website. So I have developed a lot of tools. So in that I have already uh, added the privacy policy, terms and conditions, disclaimer, and uh, refund. Uh, I haven't mentioned the refund policy, but there is the cookies policy. So all the things you can just copy and paste into your website. And you only need to uh, you know, need to modify your website name and your, for example, other details uh, that are your, for example, personal uh, email address and all. So these policies matters a lot because the Stripe team is uh, really uh, interested to see the policies. Accordingly, they try to activate the account. For example, you have uh, missed something from your policies, then definitely your Stripe account would be rejected. So make sure that your policies must be written correctly. So you have to uh, you have to go through all those policies. If you are thinking that you have to mention something more that you are uh, trying to do, or maybe you are serving to your customers, you so your users, so you have to mention over there. So in that way, Stripe would be familiar with your business easily. Otherwise, they will be giving you the error that your uh, uh, business is on risk, high risk. So you are not eligible for the uh, activation under the under their policy. So from to avoid such type of errors, to avoid such type of rejections, you have to uh, you have to keep your policies uh, uh, in detail, and you have to mention each and every point which you have, uh, which you are having in your business. One more uh, point is that in most of the cases, those Stripe accounts which are little old, so they are activated uh, more faster because in that way. Uh, a, strike, a Stripe account is uh, having some trust. So even if you have a new account, a new uh, account that uh, doesn't matter. But still, if you have a little older one, for example, one or two months uh, uh, older, so that has the chances that the rejection would not be there. All right. 
so in some cases uh, if you are interested you can also upload your address address document and business document if you will have it, if you will have otherwise it is not required so okay okay no problem so uh, someone has asked me the question that uh, assalamu alaikum please make a video on how to make all things uh, like d a discount and debit credit card and every option on card but you are talking about shopify or wordpress or any other website please mention uh, the technology so that i get to know that uh, uh, what you are talking about and let me summarize each and everything uh, once again so that uh, uh, you get to know that what we have learned so far so today we have uh, explore the things related to stripe account activation that how to avoid the rejection from stripe so first of all you have to create an account and then you have to verify your email address then you have needed a bank account to add and you have no need to worry about the company if you don't have any company registered already you can add the uh, address details of your personal address actually so then after you have needed the approval so for example you requested for the approval so it doesn't take any more time to do the approval it takes only a few hours or maybe few minutes within those you will be getting the approval of the stripe i mean if they will have rejected then you will be getting the email address email that your account has been rejected because of these things i mean your uh, policies are uh, having some uh, problem or maybe uh, you are not eligible or maybe you have done any mistake so everything would be over there within a few minutes or few hours then you have needed a website name to fill so if you have not created any website uh, i'm also developing a website so you can also uh, tell me i will be helping you out if you have any problem with your website so i will be also supporting you so here you have needed the website and i already mentioned you that uh, in your website that must be secure i mean ssl certificate must be over there uh, so uh, what's the symbol of having the ssl for example your website has http only colon double forward slash and your website name uh, dot com then that means your website is insecure and there is a risk in your business and if you have the website having https so that means your ssl certificate has been activated and now your website is secure the next thing is that verify your domain so how you will be uh, verifying your domain you just have to copy uh, the dns records from the stripe account and paste it on to your hosting server or maybe wherever you have the hosting uh, so over there you have to copy and paste those records and then uh, click on the verify and definitely your account would be verified i mean your domain would be verified so you can create multiple accounts stripe accounts from a single sign up for example you have registered on uh, stripe and you have uh, needed two stripe accounts uh, for your two websites so in the, uh, at the left top corner you have the option to create multiple stripe accounts then we have uh, website policies so i already mentioned you that uh, uh, in the below, below in the description i have my website so you can copy those policies and paste it into your website and from there you can do the editing like uh, you have uh, uh, website name you have email address so all the uh, things which are uh, which are your personal information so you need to update those and you also keep in mind that if you have any additional thing in your business you have to mention that uh, also over there then after we have uh, old stripe account activation so actually if you have a little older stripe account then that would be easier for you to uh, do the activation uh, but in most of the cases the account has been activated if you are keeping in mind all the things which you which i have mentioned above so if still you have the problem then that means you have missed something and because of which you are facing this issue so thank you so much for this uh, specific information which i had to share with you so i will be uploading uh, some more videos related to stripe that how you can do all the things which i have mentioned in this video practically so in that way you will be uh, having more awareness of 
uh, what I have explained today. So if you have any suggestion uh, related to any uh, technology or maybe any video, so I will be happy to explain you in these live sessions. And uh, nowadays, I am conducting these live sessions on daily basis. Uh, a daily basis so if you have any topic to discuss if you have any problem yeah, you can mention in the comment section i will be definitely helping you out with that so thank you so much see you in the next session tomorrow